What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel and welcome to another Pokemon Scarlet and Violet VGC video. Today I have my second rental team. Rental teams are going to drop on Sunday, I'm just going to keep this clear with you guys. Uh, a lot of people have been asking when will the rental teams drop, when will the rental teams drop. I know, I drop bangers, I'm sorry, I, but I have to I have to stretch out the content at least a little bit. So here's the deal, here's how it's going to go. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a team throughout the week, sort of tease it, make people think it's like really cool, and then bam, Sunday, you get the team. That's what I've been doing this week. And it is now Sunday, and this video is going to go up a little bit late because I'm a little sick today, a little sicky. Uh, but let's go ahead and just talk about the rental team. If you guys enjoyed this standpoint in time, do me a favor, leave a like in the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications because I bring you daily competitive Pokemon content. And answer my question in the comment section down below. Uh, what is your favorite new Gen 9 Pokemon? Uh, obviously, this isn't the rental team on screen right now. Here, let me switch over so people don't panic. Um, and, uh, there you go. There's the rental team. Uh, there's the rental code, but we're gonna go through the stats really quick on showdown so I can explain how it works um, Excuse me. I'm a little tired. Oh, and I'm messing up everything. There we go. All right here is showdown So the team uh, is this it's Baxcalibur, Obama Snow, Indeedy, uh, Armor Rouge, Annihilate, and Dash Bun so the team revolves entirely around the Armor Rouge. Armor Rouge is Flash Fire, Choice Scarf, Expanding Force, Armor Cannon, Lava Plume, Energy Ball. Uh, it is Terra Grass, uh, because Terra Grass allows you to actually deal with Garchomp a little bit better. It's got decent physical defense, right? Like, you're going to be able to sit, uh, stay in on Garchomp if you Terra Grass versus it. Uh, and Lava Plume is an extremely spammable move on this team, because while it does hit your partners, we have one immunity. We have one Benefitter who is immune to burn, and we have a Terra Fire Annihilate, which also benefits due to Rage Fist getting boosted every time it gets hit. So, yeah. So, basically, uh, Armor Rouge is going to be on almost every single way that you play the team. You're going to almost always lead off with it, with a few exceptions. Uh, but, yeah, it's Choice Scarf, Timid, Max Speed, Max Special Attack, 4 HP. Uh, 139, unfortunately, times 1.5 is not enough to outspeed Dragapult, but it comes close, so with non-max speed Dragapults, you will be able to outspeed them. Lava Plume has a 30% chance to burn them, which is very good since you can't intimidate Dragapult. Uh, you're going to be able to burn the likes of Garchomp, uh, other just generally strong physical attackers, uh, but yeah, it's it's super nice. Um, and what you would usually lead off with it uh, is actually going to be Dash Bun, which is going to be running Terra Steel, Leftovers, Well-Baked Body. Every time we get hit by a fire move, we take no damage and we get a plus two defense, so an iron defense boost. It's body press, snarl, charm, and protect. Max HP, 36 defense, four special attack, 188 special defense, 28 speed. Uh, this is just a spread sent to me by a viewer because it's really fun. And yeah, I, I don't remember what it does, but it's very nice. Uh, and you're going to be able to uh, like outspeed a decent amount of Pokemon with that base 95 speed stat, uh, allowing you to snarl many common threats. But yeah, uh, the next Pokemon that I want to point out is going to be... Uh, let's actually go with Indeedee. Indeedee is running Trick Room, Follow Me, Protect, Psychic. Uh, as of right now, the judges have stated that Indeedee with Trick Room, Indeedee female with Trick Room, despite being exclusive to raids, is actually legal in the game. If you don't know why it wouldn't be legal, it's a long story, just know it's illegal in the game, which means you can use it. Uh, but yeah, you can usually lead off with Indeedee and uh, Armor Rouge to prevent like sucker punches on Armor Rouge, go for uh, helping, not helping hand, but like Psychic Train boosted expanding forces is very nice. You can follow me away ghost type attacks uh, from Annihilate or Dragapult. Uh, and allow armors to stay in the field a little bit longer. It's also just a generally good support Pokemon, and setting up Trick Room is going to be useful in a lot of situations, especially with Obama Snow, because another common lead is going to be Obama Snow plus uh, Indeedee. We're going to go with Protect, Blizzard, Aurora Veil, Energy Ball, Max HP, 4 Defense, 252 Special Attack. Uh, this gen, Snow Warning, uh, sets up Snow instead of Hail, which gives Obama Snow and other Ice types a 50% boost to their defenses, meaning that Obama Snow can eat like Tarot. Like, it can eat, like, Terra Steel Iron Heads from, like, a lot of Pokemon. Like, it's insane. Uh, Aurora Veil is going to be there to set up our uh, screens for pretty much the entire game. It's, uh, what is it? I forgot. Light Clay. It's uh, eight turns worth of defense boost, which is really nice for the type of team that we're playing. Uh, and, yeah, Energy Ball with Terra Grass uh, is actually going to be Giga Drain. My bad. I changed it to Giga Drain because it gives uh, Bomba Snow a lot more longevity and helps it beat uh, Don Dozo a lot more effectively. Uh, and, yeah. Yeah. 
it's just like a generally good Pokemon, especially next to Baxcalibur, which will also gain that defense boost. We're running clear amulet, so we can't be intimidated. Thermal exchange, we're immune to burn, as well as uh, getting attack boost from fire moves, whether it be from like switching in a Flare Blitz or our Lava Plume partner. Uh, we have Protect, Icicle Spear, Glaive Rush, and Dragon Dance. The reason I'm running Icicle Spear is because 50 base power uh, is the minimum base power you're going to get out of Icicle Spear. Uh, it, but it can go up to 75, 100, 125. Uh, while it isn't as strong as Icicle Crash right out of the box, I think that Icicle Spear on Baxcalibur is a lot more consistent to play with. Even if there's variability in the damage that it does, uh, you want to take damage over missing almost every single time. And also, 99% of the time, you're going to tear a dragon and glaive rush something and one-shot it. So yeah, that is going to be the point of it anyways. And the final Pokemon is going to be our Terra Fire Annihilate. It's running Citrus Berry, Defiant, Rage Fist, Drain Punch, Bulk Up, Protect, 4 HP, 4 Attack, 12 Defense, Max Special Defense, 236 Speed. Uh, and basically, this dude's whole deal is, uh, yeah, I am going to eat hits behind screens, or if something gets burned, or maybe I tear a fire and take a couple of um, lava plumes to the face, and now my Rage Fist is like 150 base power, and you just hit things. So yeah, uh, it's a pretty reliable Pokemon. It's one of my favorite Pokemon this gen. I actually specifically shiny hunted one for this team. So yeah, let's go ahead and switch over to the game. Uh, the paste for this team, if you want to use it on Showdown, will be available in my Discord in the Moxie Team Library tab. So join that and link down below if you want it, or just type in the rental code, which you'll see on screen right here. And let's go ahead and grab a couple of games. I actually procrastinated a ton this season uh, and like did not get into Master Ball rank until like today, pretty much. Uh, I like, I don't know, I just don't have time to play off camera, right? So let's just, let's just do it. All right. Yeah, my ranking isn't that great either, because I, like, don't play. <laughs> I practice on Showdown. I'm a Showdown guy. What can I tell you? But yeah, uh, let's try to grab, like, two or three games of this team. I want to try to get this video out uh, as soon as possible, since it's already a little bit late. But yeah, um, let's see. Looks like we're facing another <laughs> Lava Plume spam team. But what's fun about this is you can actually almost always beat opposing Lava Plume spam by just not Terra-ing. Uh, or just letting them Lava Plume spam. It's very funny. Uh, Indeedee Mail's interesting. I haven't seen that too much. It looks like it's taking a more offensive approach to the Indeedee because of that. Uh, Obama Snow seems a little bit risky. I think what I want to do here for this team is we'll go with a... Uh, I like Baxcalibur. I think Baxcalibur can do a bit here if I Terra Dragon. And do I want to go Annihilate for my own Indeedee? I'm kind of feeling Indeedee, but I, let's, let's just go with Annihilate. Why not? Let's just do it. So yeah, the whole point of this team is I wanted to like find as many Pokemon that benefit from Lava Plume as possible. And I think I got a good like combination of Pokemon. It's been really fun. I've been doing pretty decent with it on Showdown as well as uh, climbing the ladder a bit. So yeah. All right, hurry up. Come on, you're, you're playing Armor Rouge. Like, it, we're playing Armor Rouge Dog Duo. Like, it's not going to be that that complicated of a matchup. Watch neither of us go for Lava Plume. Honestly, it's better to not go for Lava Plume and just focus down each other's Armor Rouges. Or what if we both lock Armor Cannon? <laughs> That'd be really funny. Oh, by the way, the Indeedee's Terra Dark, uh, only because this is the only uh, Trick Room Indeedee I have, and I didn't fix it to be fairy. It doesn't matter too much, though. Indeed, he almost never Terra's. All right. What's poppin'? <laughs> Let's get a screenshot. Oh, I'm too late. Okay. Uh, what's poppin', man? How you doing? Let's go ahead and... Um, I want to hit him with a Snarl. And I think I just want to... I want to Energy Ball, actually. Locking Energy Ball isn't that bad. Because it's going to allow me to... Yeah, it's going to allow me to um, possibly get a special defense drop because I'm immune to all fire moves and I resist psychic moves anyways. So I'd rather actually go for energy balls for special defense drops to possibly win the war of attrition. And my opponent decides to give us both defense boosts and also boost the power of my fire moves. So because I didn't play into this at all, um, I actually don't lose much here. Yeah, so that's that's the thing with like the mirror match. Like we... You can do nothing versus certain people and, like, just gain such a decent a, a decent advantage. Also, my Snarl is going to bypass that, so we still deal damage. Alright. 
critical hit on the... Looks like that... Yeah, on him. Okay. They get Leftovers Recovery. I'm actually not running Substitute because I find Charm to be a little bit better for particular matchups. Uh, mainly Dondozo. But yeah, I think I'm just going to do it again. And Energy Ball again. Actually, why am I even targeting you? You're probably locked. I can just start hitting you. There's not really a reason to deal with... Like, our, our team hard walls Armor Roche. Also, I am already forgetting if they went first or if I did. But I'm pretty sure we're both Scarf. Because that's just, like, optimal. Yeah, he switches out. Check this out. I'm going to break the sub, and then I'm going to hit him with the nastiest snarl of my life. Alright, substitute's broken, I would assume. Yep. Hit him with that nasty snarl. Oh, he's going to hit me with that nasty snarl. What a shame. Um, I'm going to break a possible sash on this little fella. And I know I said that, like, in these matchups, you don't want to pop your Terra because you end up losing the body press war. But all things considered, I think I'd rather just annihilate this. Do, I mean, am I going to take a flower trick? Probably, but it's, like, risky. Oh, I'm really risking it. Yeah, I'm going to go for it. I'm going to go for the body press onto the um, Meowskarada. But a choice band flower trick could ruin my day. It's the only issue. What if I protect here? What are my options? If I protect here, I can get in Annihilate, which gets a Defiant boost off a of Snarl. That isn't that bad. No, but if I do that, I shouldn't protect. I need to make sure I get rid of this thing ASAP. So let's just go for the Body Press. Fairly certain we can take a uh, Flower Trick. And if I get a Defiant boost off of this, I can Terra Fire and just win. Knock off. Um, that's fine. I mean, I take a lot of damage there, but to be honest, if they snarl, I'm still gaming. And I got rid of this guy. Yeah, you're not taking that. Cool. All right. Yeah, I'm not terribly concerned with their guy because, uh, like, let's let's look at, let's consider all the factors going on here. Like, what are they gonna do to me, huh? What what, what are they gonna do to me? Not much. I I wall out body press. I take nothing from uh, what's it called? I take nothing from uh, snarl. In fact, I only benefit. That's the armor rouge. Uh, I think here, my play is always gonna be to snarl and protect to scout out their play, and to reduce damage on my annihilate. Because I might have to Terra Fire the Annihilate. It kind of sucks I lost my Citrus Berry because I don't have recovery beyond Drain Punch now. But I think we'll be fine. Alright. It'd be so cool if he Lava Plumed. Probably just Expanding Force though. So I can take this at minus one if I tear a fire here. I don't think I I don't think I drain punch though. I think I I think I just rage fist. Let's do it. I really like this. I really like this play. Like we can we can definitely eat it. It's like Armor Rouge's expanding force isn't actually that strong without like life orb. Or like terrain up, so I like this. Um, yeah, let's snarl again. And this is, I, I, I'm going to be honest, this is not the optimal play. It's just the fun play. It's just the fun play. But yeah, I'm max special defense. Fairly certain at minus one without the, uh, without the weakness I eat the hit. Cool. Rage Fist, you're gone. Dunyan Rings. And the likelihood that they actually went for a, uh, <laughs> get a crit too. The likelihood they went for, like, a Snarl enemy is pretty low. I think they just body pressed my guy. 
They snarled. Okay. Well, I don't resist that. Now I might go down. Nope. I just get my Defiant boost. Okay, buddy. <laughs> okay. I hope whatever's in the back is slower than me. This they would just make it like so satisfying to win this end game like that. All right. Uh, obviously, if whatever's in the back, I outspeed, I should always go for a Drain Punch. Like, that's always gonna be my play now. A Body Press would hurt, so I have to be careful. Because I'm no longer immune. It's Torkoal. Oh, yeah. Do you guys remember when I said it's Drain Punching time and then Drain Punched them? Let's do it. I resist everything Torkoal goes for. You guys remember I said it's drain punching time? I mean, they could protect the Torkoal and then I lose my guy, but I like hard wall Torkoal. Alright, that's a decent amount of health back. I'm gonna snarl here. I guess I could have body pressed. Probably gonna go down to that. Yep, that's fine. I got my damage. Uh, I don't drop to earth power. They could yawn me, I suppose, but I have, I have enough tools to beat them. All right, please hit the Torkoal. Nope. Oh, I did hit the Torkoal. Okay, that's fine. Earth power. Yeah. He needs mad special defense drops to beat me. All right, uh, let's go Arm Rouge. And there is an objectively epic play that we can make. We're going to do the objectively epic play. Uh, as you might have noticed, my opponent isn't able to actually defense boost without, like, Torkoal going for Lava Plume or me. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> I'm going to side armor cannon. Nice. Yeah, because I want to make sure that I uh, am able to defense boost and not defense boost them. Let's see if this KOs. It's plus four. I doubt it. It's Torkoal. Yeah, it just barely lives, but uh, I should be able to eat the Earth Power, and now I just win. What's fun is I didn't even get a special defense drop off of that. All right, let's body press him. Side armor cannon a second time. Get myself up to max defense. Uh, and then they need like crits to beat me. But if I never Terra, then like they never, they're never going to be able to kill me with body press because I resist it. Even with crits. They need like two crits in a row. All right, now I get my armor rouge off the field. I get in my... Uh, my big guy, my dragon. And I start spamming body press. I love that Doc Spun is actually like really, really viable. It's just absurd. He looks like he's gonna be one of those like early route bad Pokemon, but they gave it such a good ability that like if it didn't have this ability, it would be nothing. It would be just the worst Pokemon ever. All right. Let's get back Excalibur in. I don't mind if he gets, like, annihilated. We, yeah, we win. All right, let's grab one more. I'd like to get a back Excalibur game. I would love to get a back Excalibur game. I may not even edit this video just to get it up quicker, to be honest. So, like, no outro music is possible. All right, continue battling. Actually, no, that's... That's suboptimal. That's suboptimal. I, I need outro music. But yeah, no, we got to use uh, we got to use two Pokemon like super effectively that game. So really, it's just Bex Calibur that hasn't done anything yet. Indeed, he's like you already know what Indeed does, so it, like doesn't matter. Uh, ooh, Bex does not feel that great this game. 
Bax does not feel that great this game. I think what I do here, and it's actually very difficult for my opponent to beat me if I do this, I think, is I might go Annihilate and Armor Rouge on lead. Because that beats a lot. Um, that does beat a lot. I just don't want, like, Gothitelle to, like, lead off versus me and then I lose. Hmm. Let's do that. Let's do the Armor Rouge Annihilate lead. In the back, I'm going to bring the backs, because even if I lose, I want to just at least get some backs footage in. And yeah, look, everyone here benefits. Everyone here benefits from the uh, from the Lava Plume. They all praise the, uh, the Armor Rouge. He's team captain, man. Also, got to give a shout out to uh, who was it in the Discord that helped me out. Because I needed to get the uh, Terra types changed, and I asked someone in the Discord to help me. Uh, shout out to Yosei Lock in the Discord. If you guys join the Discord to have access to the uh, the uh, code, then make sure you say uh, thank you, because this is uh, Yosei Lock's doing. Because I needed to change the Terra types for it to work right. <laughs> Okay, we're gaming. Um, I can Terra Grass here. Actually, that might be better. But I didn't bring in Didi is the issue. Maybe I just Lava Plume, man. Man, maybe I just Lava Plume. And go, like, Doxbun. I think I do that. Because Doxbun can beat uh, Azumarill. Withdrawing the Gothitelle, interesting. Oh, that's a big mistake. Alright, can I get a burn on Azu? That'd be hot. Sing? Hello? Okay, uh, the good news is, we're like, fine. I, what is that Azu set? How do you get away with Sing? Huh, okay, um... Man, am I even scared of Belly Drum if they're running Sing? I don't think you can run Sing and Belly Drum effectively. I think I just, like, take it here, and I have to, like, Terra and Snarl. I just have to deal with a possible Shadow Ball. Alright. Armor Rouge is fast asleep, probably gonna get Shadow Balled. Alright, Outspeed Golden Go. Are they gonna sing again? That'd be insane. I honestly, I'd prefer it. Make it rain, we're both gonna eat that. Everyone's eating up. Everyone's eating up like Reese's Puffs. And now that, that guy's got like no damage output. Perish Song? Hmm. Why do I get the feeling that- Oh, that's so cool! That's so cool! What? I want to use this team- Okay, no, guys, everyone stop watching this video. Go go use this team. Oh, I learned something so important today. My guy's immune. What? I, I thought it would affect him because it's like a field- uh, No, wow, okay. Well, the good news is they switched out, which is like- I'm not, not going to lie, they're kind of throwing- all right, let's do this. Um, I'm going to lose my defense boost, but I don't mind getting Annihilate on the field. As well as Backscal- You know, let's just do it. It's Backscalibur's time to- it's, it's his time to shine. I kind of hope we take a Make It Rain. I kind of hope they make it rain. Even if Backscalibur gets hurt, I hope they do it. Alright. They're gonna go into Gothitelle, aren't they? Oh, please make it rain. Please make it rain on me. It protected? Oh, that's even better. That's even better. That's even better. Let's, uh, you know what? Let's bulk up. Let's just set up in their face. Let's just set up in their face. 
Listen, when you're playing against Parish Trap, you just gotta get aggressive with them. You have to get offensive with them. I would very much appreciate it if you were to uh, Shadow Ball my Annihilate and get a special defense drop. That'd make me quite happy. Because it's gonna bounce off of Annihilate, I guarantee it. You can even Psychic me and get a special defense drop, I don't care. See, now they're thinking like, man, man, I'm at minus two. These guys can set up in my face. Oh, please make it rain, sir. Sir, I implore you to make it. Wait, does this guy get Parish Song too? I hope he doesn't. <laughs> my opponent's beginning to see they might have made a mistake. <laughs> they may have made a mistake giving me a turn to do this. Oh, yes, please. Give me my Rage Fist. I think they crit me. Critical hit, special defense drop. Incredible. Listen, this Rage Fist goes out to all the Goldango haters. This Rage Fist is for you guys. It's for you guys. Um, also, I'm fairly certain that Gothitelle does not eat this hit. Go, 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 Glaive Rush. This one goes out to all the Goldango haters. What are you going to do about it? What are you going to do about it? You're going to withdraw? Okay, please be a zoom roll. I would love to hit that thing with a Rage Fist. That looks like a zoom roll. Look, it's not going to KO, but it's going to come dang close. What if they trick roomed on me? I'd be sad. I'd be kind of sad. All right, KO and we're good. Oh, they got the wrong berry. That's funny. All right, pow. That's strong, awesome. Hit yourself now. Skill-based game, skill-based game. I'm sorry guys, look, it's a skill-based game. Skill based game, time to Glaive Rush again. <laughs> Alright. That's so cool though. I didn't know about that Gold Ango tech. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, cool. That was awesome. That was really awesome. Okay, so I think I, I showed off the team pretty effectively. You guys know how to play the team, it's, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. As always, leave a like if you enjoyed, subscribe to the channel, and yes, haste for the team in my Discord. The rental code, it's been on screen. Go look for it. All right, see you guys. Have a nice one. Bye.